Can you hack Harry Potter World at Universal Studios with do-it-yourself wands? Let's find out! When you enter the Wizarding World, you'll find witches and wizards practicing magic in front of these pattern markers. So with a swish and a flick, and Wingardium Leviosa, Levitation is at your command for the low price of $59 at Ollivander's. Now, while they have many fine wands that may choose you, we're here today to save money by learning how these wands work and build our own. So grab your pumpkin juice and pack your bags because we're heading off to wand making class. Inspired by the work of wand makers William Osmond and Alan Penn, we'll be making three different wands and comparing them to a genuine wand purchased from Ollivander's at Universal. First, we need to learn the science behind the magic. Hidden inside the shop windows are infrared cameras, and some are easier to spot than others. Recording with your phone can help locate them because you'll see four pink dots, which are the infrared lights invisible to the human eye. Spells are successfully performed when the camera is able to see you wave your wand while following the correct pattern. Do you see the pink dots around this home security camera? We're going to use it to test our wands before heading to Harry Potter World. First, let's take a look at the genuine wand from Ollivander's. We'll use it as a comparison when testing the homemade wands. On the tip of the Ollivander wand is a dark bump. Let's inspect it with the infrared camera. I put the wand through a hole in this black poster board to help provide contrast. As I move the Ollivander wand, notice how the dark tip actually shines white. This happens because it is reflecting the infrared light back into the camera. So that's how Harry Potter World is able to see you perform a spell. Alright, so the first wand we're making will feature reflective material from this high visibility vest. I use a razor blade to cut out a small piece of the material, and then I put some tape on the back to try and stick it to the straw. This is definitely a low cost magic wand, and let's see how it looks on the infrared camera. The new wand is on the left, and the genuine is on the right. As you can see, the new wand shines very bright. Our second wand will feature these reflective facial tracking markers used in Hollywood. They are hemispheres that are 4mm in diameter and fit perfectly on the tip of this plastic wand. I pour some hot glue on the tip and then grab one of the facial tracking markers and put it on top of the glue. I'd say that these facial tracking markers are just the right size. Now let's look at it under the infrared camera. Wow! They look almost the same. Can you even tell which one is the genuine wand? The final wand is electronic and features an infrared LED, a button, some wire, batteries, and a lot of hot glue. I touch it up with a base paint and then some rub and buff to bring out the highlights. I absolutely love how this looks, but how does it look in infrared? All right, here we go. Press the button. Boom! Look at it shine. Instead of reflecting infrared light back into the camera, this wand has its own light source. It's now time for us to journey to the Wizarding World to see if these homemade wands will spark magic at Hogwarts. The best place to practice your spells is outside Dervish and Bangs. It's in a weird location, so not a lot of people know about it. The spells to practice here are Locomotor and Arresto Momentum. Locomotor will cause the dragon to start flying around the box in the window, and Arresto Momentum will cause the dragon to stop. And there's the camera. Alright, you got this. First up is the reflective vest wand. I can't believe the first try actually worked. But I wasn't able to get it to work a second time. And now the facial tracking marker wand. Fail number one. Fail number two. But third time's a charm. Last but not least, we have the electronic wand. 50 points for Gryffindor! But we need to try it again for science. Have we discovered the secret ingredient? All right, let's keep going. Oh no. Uh, uh, come on! Each wand worked and failed. But that's what you'll also experience with the genuine wands from Ollivander's. Overall, I think it's worth a try, and for me, the electronic wand had the best results. Now I'm going to show you a spell that no one has ever performed before at Harry Potter World. Magical straw, here we go. Augmente. 